Welcome SRB, as you can read the book of the Lord. So this is the part two of our Christian creed. This is the true belief of Christianity. This is the true face of Christianity. So this is the part two, faith and works. James 2, 17 to 20, it says it's very clear. James, let's read it. So our belief is based on the Bible, okay? James, it's very clear that James 2, verse 17, it says it's very clear. It says this, Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. In verse 20, it says, But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Faith and works are joined together. And also, in, in 2 Peter, it's very clear. Read your Bible, guys. Read your Bible. Five, um, 2 Peter 1, verse 5 to 9, it says, And beside this giving all diligence, add, add to your faith. Add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness charity or love. For if these things be in you, and abound they make you, that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind, and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Remember, this Jesus Christ died for our sins because we are sinners, right? And Romans 5.8 is very clear that Christ died for us yet. Here, Romans 5 verse 8, it says this very clear. But God commanded his love towards us in that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. When Christ died for us, we are yet sinners. Now we are not sinners anymore. We commit sin, yes. We commit sin, but we are not sinners anymore. The Bible says it's very clear. In 1 John, <clears throat> in 1 John 5, 16 to 18, it says, If if any man see his brother sin, a sin which is not unto that, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto that. There is a sin unto that. I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin and there is a sin not unto that. We know that whosoever is born of God, born of God, sin it not. Okay? But he that is begotten of God keep it himself and that wicked one touch it him not. So this is Christians. Christians don't sin anymore. Okay, the Bible says it's very clear because we are born of God. And how do we born of God? John 3, Jesus Christ says it's very clear in red letter, clear than the crystal clear in the water. John 3 verse, John 3 verse 3 to 6. It says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I said unto you, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. How this born again works? In verse 6, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. In verse 5, verily, verily, I say unto you, Jesus Christ said, Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he shall not, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So, you to be capable of to enter the kingdom of God, you should be baptized of water. It's very clear. Water is the only baptism of water, nothing else. The baptism of John, the repentance of John, and in the baptism of Jesus Christ, the baptism of water and spirit. John is not the, the baptizer of the spirit, but Jesus Christ is the baptizer of the Holy Spirit. Spiritually thing, okay? So, if you are get baptized, you will receive the Holy Ghost, Acts 2.38. Okay? So, that is faith in works. We believe in faith that... Not of ourselves, actually, Titus 3, 5. This is one save, always save confusion that when, when you accept Jesus Christ, you don't, you don't have to be baptized. You don't have to do good works. Hello? Read your Bible, not only in parts. Right? Titus, yes, says that 3, verse 5, it says, Not by works of righteousness which we have done. 
not of ourselves. Okay? But according to His mercy, He saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, not of ourselves. Ephesians 2, 8 to 9, lest anyone should boast, not of ourselves, but God's mercy to us. But how about our our job, our side? Okay? Philippians 2, 12, it says very clear. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, Paul says, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. How, how what that, what is the meaning of this? So, I'm a savior of my own self now? No. It's a maintaining in faith. Maintaining in faith that you should keep in faith that is the essence of that verse. Faith without works is dead. Don't have faith alone that I believe in Christ. No, I don't do that because I'm saved, you know. So what's 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 the meaning of Jesus Christ's teachings that Christ that whosoever follow with me he will let's read this verse Acts and, and no no Matthew 16 verse 24 it's very clear Matthew 16 24 then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my, for my sake shall find it. Okay? So if we follow Christ, we can follow. We can, we can have the real salvation. That is the, that is the doctrine of the Bible. Okay, that is the doctrine of the Bible. And also the Bible says in John 15, it's very clear. Okay, John 15, I am the true vine and my father is the husband man. Every branch in me that beareth bear it not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purge it. And that is bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through he, the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye by, abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bring, bring it forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. We can do nothing without Jesus Christ. We can do nothing without Christ. But we but if we are separate in Christ, what we are? We can do we can do nothing of ourselves, of our salvation. We are nothing. We are we are sinners. Christ died for us, so you should have a connection, relationship to him. Accept him as your savior, as his Lord your Savior. And you you can do something. Because I can do, we can do all things through Christ that we strengthen us. That is the doctrine of the Bible. Faith and works are like bread. Bread is faith. And, and, and works, love, um, hope, liberty, um, love, mercy, works. That is the, the feel, the feeling of of the bread you know what i mean i mean is works without faith without works is dead that is the bible says if you are a christian you are going to follow christ why let's read this verse in first peter 2 21 it's very clear but the bible says first first korean first peter first peter 2.21, it says this. For even hereunto were ye, uh, we, were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow His steps, that we should follow Christ's steps. What is the steps of Christ? First, He get baptized. Second, He received the Holy Ghost. Third, third, um, He he shared the gospel. He he was he wa he became the minister of the gospel. He shared the gospel. I am the bread of life. Jesus Christ said. He shared the good news of the kingdom. And we should follow that. And Jesus Christ, um, Christ said, "This is the bread 
Um, this is the it's kind of representation of my body. Always do that. Acts two forty. Let's read then. We should do the, what Christ did, except except for the cross. But you know what I mean. Faith without works is dead, brothers and sisters. It says this in verse, in verse. That in verse 46, and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Okay, in verse 42, and they continued, continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and are in prayers. What does it mean? If you are in Christ, you should keep in faith. You should keep in faith, like Hebrews one, Hebrews ten, Hebrews ten. It says this. It's very clear. Hebrews ten, verse twenty-five to twenty-six. It says is this. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the one as he see the day approaching. In verse twenty-four, and let us consider one another to to provoke. Unto love and to do good works. Verse 26. This is the scary one. For one save all when saved. Called. For if we sin willfully. If we sin willfully. After that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Jesus Christ the truth. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. But a certain fearful looking for a judgment and fiery indignation. Which shall devour the adverse series. What does it mean guys? It means that we should keep in faith. That not just believe in Christ. That I believe in you but I don't want to consume some effort. You know. I want to follow you. That is the real Christians. That is the real Christians. Because if you do not follow Christ. This is will gonna be happen to you. <clears throat> the Bible says. In 2 Peter 2, verse 21 to 22, it says, in verse 20, let's start in verse 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, it means the lust, the pride, the anger, hatred in this world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So it's better... That you don't know Christ, even that rather than to know Christ, because if you know Christ in you and you are and you are again, are let's read for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, it, it means the sinful world, we escape the sinful world through the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, they are entangled therein. Entangled means like <clears throat> polluted again in ourselves. That and we are overcome by this world. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them. This is the this is my point. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. Who is the way? The truth and the life. Jesus Christ. Known the way of righteousness than after they have known it. To turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. That is to love. That is the holy commandment of Jesus Christ. Is to love God abo above all with your, with your mind, spirit, and soul. And love your neighbor as yourselves. But it is happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. And the saw that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. What does it mean? We should, keep in, we should keep in faith. The Bible says in Acts 13, 13 that, let's read. This is the last verse for this, for this part to Acts 13 verse 13. It says, <clears throat> And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. We are Christians. This is the tribulation. We are under the tribulation. The tribulation is not God's wrath. Don't be confused. This is the part three. About the tribulation. And we believe that after the tribulation of those days. Mark, Matthew 24, 20, 29. Mark 13, 13. That, but he 
that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And that is the doctrine of the Bible. And that is our belief as a Christian. We don't believe in once you save, you always save. No. Keep in faith, you shall be saved until the end. That is the doctrine of the Bible and our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody called, somebody says that if you commit suicide, you, sh you still save. That is false doctrine. That is false doctrine. If you are in Christ, you should do good works. You should be holy. Okay? That is the pure religion of the Bible. And thank you for, the, for, thank you for watching. And I hope you understand the real teaching of the Bible. This is part two. That faith and works is required for salvation. Faith first, works later. Because that is the fruits of your faith. Thank you for watching.